Hey guys, what's going on? Dace here, and today, oh, we're finally checking out Cotton Reboot on Nintendo Switch. I've had this um, for about a week, and it's just been in the plastic the whole time, maybe even longer than that. Um, but anyway, we're getting around to checking it out now. I'm loving the colors already. This is sweet. The sound effects and everything. Oh, yeah. So I trust everyone is having a fantastic Saturday. I know I am. It's super, super relaxing. So I'm really eager to see what this is all about. Maybe we'll just quickly check uh, this. Uh, okay, so activate fever, use magic. Okay. Shoot bomb. All right. Well, we'll see how that goes. Um, you know what? We can just figure this out. On our own. Um, so I think we'll go into this one. Let's see how it goes. Fantastic Night Dreams Cotton. One day, a sudden wave of darkness set the light prisms and consumed it all, taking all light from the whole world. People now lived in the eternal darkness of night, unsure when they once again could awake the morning light. Okay, I'm thinking we'll just skip that because who knows how long that's going to go on for. Anyway, I'm playing on the uh, the Mayflash today. Um, so if you hear an, a little bit of extra, like, all that kind of stuff in the background, that's why the Pro Controller would be quieter for recordings, but I just love this stick. It's super good. Jeez! Okay. So, I'm very, very intrigued just to see what this is all about in terms of uh, how it works what you all do, all that kind of stuff. No. Oh, yeah, right, dude. A lot of really- whoa, dude. A lot of very unique enemies, that's for sure. Nope. We want that. I feel like the whole vibe of this is interesting. Um, it kind of vaguely reminds me of Death Smiles for some reason. I'm not sure what that thing is, so I think I will just avoid it. was happening. Well, at least I can shoot them. Oh, come on, man. Okay, I'm just gonna credit feed for this test session. I'll obviously be tackling some 1cc goodness. For those who weren't at the stream or maybe didn't catch uh, the video. I just recently did my um, GG Alesta 3 run, which we did it the night of the stream, which was two nights ago, which uh, was my first time 1cc'ing that one. I had a blast during that session. Um, and then I decided to just do a, a recorded session um, to share with you guys, because obviously during the stream I was like pausing to chat with people and all that kind of stuff. So in that sense, I didn't really want to 
resort to using it and editing out certain sections and all that time-consuming stuff when I could just replay the game. So yeah, that game is just absolutely super cool. I love it. I'll probably tackle uh, numbers one and two at some point in the near future, but I'm still um, deep into Crimson Clover. Just tackling that, that is definitely a big, big task, um, but I'm loving it. He thinks he's got tricks. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, it's neat because, like, there are different enemies that I've never encountered before. Um, like the clouds, for instance, where if you shoot them, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going anywhere, but if you shoot them enough, then obviously they will get taken out. So this is already offering some uh, unique opportunities to just see different things, new things. Man, look at that tree. Oh my god, what? That. Oh man, oh man. What? That. Oh, okay, that seems a little absurd. Okay, jeez, man. Gotta have like, oh sweet, yeah, we got a power at our disposal. And it would be as simple as just watching where those guys are gonna drop and paying attention, but I'm kind of just soaking up all the sights and everything right now. Let's just see what some other buttons do. Um, that doesn't seem to do anything. It might just be fairly straightforward. I know there was like a, a fever. Oh my god. A fever mode or something that you can hit up. Probably gotta have something charged to a certain degree. I'm not sure. I also don't play too many shmups that are um, a mix between horizontal and vertical sections. Kind of like where you just go up straight um, here and there. So it's always neat seeing stuff like that. I just want to see if that is something we want. Okay, yes it is. Oh, come on, man. Oh my god. I was getting greedy there. Oh, dude. Okay, so I'm taking a lot of hits. Obviously, it's because I have no idea what anything is gonna do in this game. But still, man, there's a lot that's catching me off guard here in the way it behaves. Oh my god, okay. Also still getting used to the speed because I totally thought I would be able to just get down there quick enough. Oh my god. But yeah, as for everybody else, what have you guys been playing lately? Um, it was neat checking out the uh, the Katsui game that just hit the Japanese eShop. Um, oh, what have we here? Oh, as if... as well. 
But yeah, for myself, um, I know at some point in the near, near-ish future, I want to get back to Pawarumi. Um, I was doing some pretty intense score chasing in that earlier this year. God damn, I did not realize that was there. Um, and I was close to hitting my goals, but uh, I kind of just got onto other games and then didn't go back to it. And of course, I want to do my Mushihime Sama stuff soon enough, too. But I'm telling you, Crimson Clover arcade mode is no joke. That is taking serious, serious practice. I feel like a range mode unlimited is actually simpler than um, arcade original. Because. When I first started practicing arcade mode original, um, I was m usually making it to like boss two, like the stage two boss. And uh, if I wasn't playing super, super tight, I would be biting the bullet there, or sometimes even earlier in the level if I wasn't paying attention. But um, by comparison, just before recording this, I was hitting up some, oh my God. A range mode unlimited and the first session I was able to make it all the way to stage four like no problem and then my second session playing uh, second run I made it to stage five uh, with very little effort um, now obviously in that mode you can cancel out enemy shots or some of them anyway with your main attack and I did have a suspicion that it would be somewhat easier uh, but it's, yeah it's just neat so I'm kind of going to tackle that just to break up the, the main practice. Jeez. And this isn't going to be a super long video. That long last, man. Seriously. But yeah, like I said, I want to know what you guys are playing these days. I'm also really liking just um, the the focus that I have on doing more 1cc runs on the channel, or for the channel rather, um, because I got so many shmups and I've checked tons out on the channel, but like I think I would get a lot more use out of them if I was just tackling full clears. Now obviously I'm not going to necessarily put crazy time and energy into every single one, especially ones that I'm just not into, but uh, there is something exciting thinking about the list of shmups I have as a list of games to 1cc as opposed to just checking out. Uh, so that's kind of the aim, and I'm really, really excited, because for the longest time I haven't had more than like two 1ccs on the channel, and I've certainly done more than that amount, but I just haven't recorded them, so it's nice to finally be filling that up a little bit. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell? Snakes? Snakes on a plane. Oh, dude. Come on, man. for me. Tea time! Man, that sounds awesome. Man, someone has a loud door out there.
Sweet. Silliness. Now I'm wondering what options this game has uh, in terms of like training mode or whatever else. But I am eager to check out some of the other um, modes as well, like the arranged mode, um, the time attack one, whatever that was called. Um, it feels like this offers a decent amount to hit up, which I always enjoy. This is a really, really sweet looking boss. Oh my god. what those things are supposed to be. They look like whales with wings or something, but just very small ones. They remind me of the windfish from Link's Awakening, actually. Oh, dude. You... Oh, I swear. Jeez. What? Like, every single little thing is, like, just taking me out now. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is wild! And what a wicked chamber for a boss fight. This reminds me of uh, Wario Land 3. There's a level um, where you can like go down this... Essentially, like it's just a big drop, like it's just a, a big chamber, but there are, uh, are windows as well, doing exactly what the light in this uh, part of the level is doing. Just shining down through windows on an angle. It's really, really cool. I still love that game. Oh my god. I think I'm out of magic. Somehow we've managed to not snag a single one of these.
cool. Well, you guys, you know what? I'm thinking that's a great place to leave off. I don't necessarily want to go through the entire run. Um, I'm not even sure how many levels there are. Maybe there's just one more. But uh, that can be when I do my 1cc run. After I get practiced. I'm not sure I'm even going like, to get around to playing a ton of this right now. But it'll be some time for sure. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, maybe what I'll even do is just go back to the title menu to close things off. Or, let's just see here. I want a way to get to like the main, main thingy. But yeah, let me know what you think if you pick this up or if it's one that you would love to check out at some point. There we go. I uh, would love to hear your comments. Or maybe you played some cotton action before this. Uh, this is my first time ever playing a cotton game. Uh, I think it's really neat that this is out. Um... And yeah, anyway, that's going to be it. I don't really have too much else to say. If you want to check out the streams, um, I'll leave a link in the description for our Twitch channel. Uh, I'm pretty much just playing shmups these days. Autumn plays uh, Stardew on Saturdays and whatnot. But um, yeah, those details can be found down below. Anyway, you guys have a stellar one. Thanks so much for being here. Always appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time.